Sing, 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 and get yeah. them. I don't know if I'm going to dance. I know, it's in the snow, 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 my guys. Anyway, it's a Rimo here from my Rimo. It's and I'm back with that interesting, interesting video. And today, today is a very interesting day because my Rimo it is going to be doing some mokimo. And if you don't love mokimo, this is the recipe for you. It is because I'm not trying to do this recipe, the Omano Pendi. Anyway, today's recipe very very easy and i have a hack for you guys so please stay tuned and i'm also going to be showing you how i'm going to throw down my mokimo with some beef stew and some kachumbari you can just imagine hmm. it's going to be a good video anyway thank you guys for clicking on this video and uh, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and if you're new or if it's the first time you're seeing my face I am Wairimo from Wairimo It's and on this channel we do abnormally delicious recipes imagine so please make sure you go see my other videos and if you love what I'm doing please join the family by just hitting that subscribe button right now guys to call hashtag 1k subs by end of month silly possible eh? if only you if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button so that you can come on this Bye. Don't forget one key by end month. Yes. Anyway, my hammer man. I'm so psyched up for this video. I hope you are too. And uh, without wasting any more time, so we go through down the smoky mall. Guys, I'm back to show you the ingredients that we need for this recipe. Nikiasi hadi huta amini huta amini. Yes, so why mukimo for this for today's recipe? Because I think sometimes in Nairobi to make a to I think we cook mostly three things: rice after rice, ugali. To kiona to mejaribu sana some chapati. But why not do some mukimo today? So mukimo is very easy. You won't even I mean like very easy and um, I have already pre-boiled some maize and peas Yes, yeah, so I pre-boiled mine in the pressure cooker and I need a ratio Two cups of maize to one cup of peas minji and I have some potatoes. I'm not using a lot but I've already peeled them and put them in some water so they don't oxidize and The ratio what how will I say it? You will Estimate your potatoes. The amount of mokimo you want will matter. Data matter how many warus you need or how many maize you need to get. So that matters. And um, I'm also going to need some spinach for this recipe. Why am I using spinach? I wanted to do the green mokimo, and I could not find pumpkin leaves in this Nairobi. So this girl had to had to incorporate something and I did my research and spinach still works as good and I'm going to tell you the review of using spinach instead of pumpkin leaves at the end of this video so please stay tuned you're also going to need three onions that I'm going to cut now the onions will cook them separately then add them to the while you're mashing everything up together some garlic to taste garlic is good like you can't go wrong with garlic, no. And some salt to taste, and uh, garam masala, which is very optional. And I just wanted to add something up to change, like it's quite so plain. That's why I chose garam masala. And as I always say, garam masala is a very nice mixed spice. That's why I chose this, so that I don't add a lot of things. Yeah, that's all. Imagine. So. So now we are going to start by boiling our potatoes as we prepare the ingredients. The ingredients are cutting the onions and the spinach. Then the spinach are going to boil it. Then we fry the onions separately. Then we just come and mash everything together. It's that easy. Then I'm going to show you how we are going to prepare it with some meat, some beef stew, I love for some kachumbari. You know, you know. Today I'm going to show you how to make a full meal. So please stay tuned, you know. Yes, turns in um, the potatoes.
process so far is I have prepped all the ingredients for the meat stew and uh, my potatoes are ready. Um, I have removed them after they are well cooked and the water has already drained out. And uh, now I have a pot already on the pan. Now I want us to fry the onions. I'm just going to put some, some oil and some onions. Then we let them cook until golden brown. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to continue smashing this. My guys, you can see that color. Oh my god, it's just popping. Hey, you're brown in a shika vizuri. Now I'm going to add my garlic and uh, I just chopped them into small small slices. And uh, remember, also, don't put your garlic in the beginning, just put it when you, your onions are already brown because garlic tends to burn easily. And I'm also going to use half a tablespoon of garam masala to add, like, so that it does not. This is more plain and garam masala is a very nice meat spice. Guys, I'm back and so far as you've seen, I have prepped all my ingredients for the beef stew. The, the spinach, I've cooked it and I have already blended it. And then now, my meat is cooking and also my onions that I'm going to put in the mokimo. My onions are slowly cooking here at the back. That is your rakishi. And now, I want us to smash the potatoes and uh, I'm going to use this one, this one for smashing garlic and ginger. I'm going to use this. I just smash the potatoes. Then I want to add my maize kiasi kiasi because um, it's not like I don't have a lot of maize and then the potatoes are kiasi. You guys get it. So I'm just going to add slowly, slowly while smashing everything together my guys by the apakuna shortcut lazima you smash everything together you just smash until all the potatoes are smashed and i saw my maize is kiasi so added kiasi so that's why i'm adding little by little because at least i can add more than getting to a point that you can you want to it, like it's too much and you cannot remove yeah that's why i'm adding everything bit by bit even the spinach that i've blended i'm adding it bit by bit until i'm satisfied with the color that i've gotten and you guys are seeing everything is getting in together perfectly the spinach is doing well with the color i'm giving it a taste test and i so it needs more salt smash everything together and then it's done, nevo. Like this, uh, this mokimo is just easy, very easy recipe. And um, I'm just going to bring everything together. And you can see the spinach did quite well with the color. Cindy, see what do you think? You can let me know in the comment section down below. And we're going to give it another taste test. Yochumbi <laughs> kasawa. And now I'm going to add my onions that we would, we would let them to cook until golden brown. I'm going to add them there because they have a lot of flavor. That's where the flavor is at. And I'm just going to mix everything together. So now the mokimo is ready as you have seen to my yaka side. So that now we can prepare the meat. And the meat it's already cooked so size in the your fast fast because as i was prepping as i was preparing my mokimo i let my meat to cook with little water so that ikisha river the water can dry out then i fry i let the, i fry them the meat with its own oil i let it produce some oil and fry it kiasi so that it can get some color it's going to change now the meat is ready the ingredients that I will need are some blended tomatoes that I've just added some capsicum in. And I think I told you in my previous video that I love blending some my tomatoes together with some red capsicum to add on the color. If you've never noted, when you blend tomatoes alone, it tends to be very light red. And to add that, so if you're looking for that red color, you add some red capsicum and voila. The redness in that dish it appear in Mexica using very natural product to get yes and for this recipe we'll, have, we'll need some carrots that have already diced and some capsicum some green capsicum mm -hmm. i will also need some garlic that i have chopped into small pieces mm -hmm. 
some coriander and I'm going to bakisha kiasi for the kachumbari. Also, I will need some onions to fry everything together. For the spices that we'll need are some garam masala. As I always say, garam masala is a very nice mixed spice. And some curry powder. And I'll also need salt to taste and some black pepper to taste. Yes, that's all. And now, let's throw down this meat. In the same pot that you, you boil your meat you use it to fry the onions because there's a lot of flavor that has been left in that sufuria i'm just going to put my onions and let them fry till they're soft you're not going to look for the golden brown color right now just let them cook until they're quite soft or they have a little bit of some brown then it is ready i'm not going to add my garlic that i'd already sliced and garlic out we don't let it to cook for long we just let it to cook until fragrant and that's it when it's fragrant i will now add my green capsicum and i'm adding them at this point together with the carrots so that i they can cook they are they can cook they can be softer and uh, when you introduce the dish right now it's like quite soft and they will continue cooking in the rest of the process i'll just cover it up and let them cook till soft and voila you can see they look soft they look so colorful yes this dish and i'm going to stir everything together then i'm going to take my meat that had already pre-cooked and you can see that color like a kitchen that's what i was saying you add you let it fry with its own oil at the end. It has idea sana. And I'm going to mix everything together. And now I'm going to add the... You can see that red color from the tomatoes and the red capsicum. I'm going to add them in the dish. And then my one tablespoon of tomato paste. And stir everything together. At this point, it looks so lovely. But now we have to let the the tomatoes to cook and also the tomato paste so you're going to stir everything in then you're going to cover it and let it cook for like five minutes and it will be ready five minutes later but not yet not yet we're going to add our spices and uh, you can see eh, your kitu in a shine in a shine in a sign now. And now I'm going to add my garam masala, half a tablespoon, my curry powder, and obviously some salt to taste according to your taste. Don't put a lot of salt. And uh, stir everything together. Eh, this dish is just coming in together vizuri. We're going now to add our black pepper to taste. We stir it also together and we're going to add some oil, some water from the rinsing of the blender. Like, see, in a joy in a baking, there's some tomatoes, some tomato juice in the blender. You just rinse it off, then you add it at this point. Then we let the spices to cook because you have to let the spices to cook. We add the water, cover it so that the spices can cook for about three minutes. You don't want to eat raw spices. Then we cover it up and let the magic begin. <laughs> hey, hey, my guys, my guys, that color, hey, your name, hey, me, hey, me, weza. And I have to give it a taste test for you guys, you know. And, um, the meat is okay the salt is perfect the spices have come in together perfectly now i add my coriander and this means my dish is done we add coriander at the end we don't let it to cook so I just tie everything in then i switch off the gas after i've stirred everything all the coriander together and then cover it so that i can let it cook with its own steam Yes, I touch any coriander either. You just cover it and let it cook with its own steam.
guys i'm back and you have seen how easy it was to prepare mokimo like imagine it was that easy i took a very like a few minutes of my time like it didn't take long it's not a long process and the amount of awesomeness in that dish is just on another level and obviously right now it's time to test and um i have made some kachumbari which i have I have cut, I've sliced my onion and then I, let, I soak them in some vinegar and let them sit for like 5 minutes and I will rinse them off. I also cut into slices, I also cut my tomatoes into slices. Then I also added, so uh, after rinsing off my onions, I added everything together, my onions, my tomatoes and my coriander and just mixed it. Nimefanya the ordinary kachumbari and if you want I have another kachumbari recipe for cucumber. It is in my chicken pilau recipe. I'll just link it up here so that you can check it out. And we have come to the end of this video but I have to give this food a taste test before I go. So, no. And uh, please don't mind the cake. I was icing behind the scenes. And uh, shamelessly, me shamelessly. Plugging myself in. If you have any cake orders, you can get to me in my. You can contact me. I'm going to leave my number here for any cake orders. I do some cake recipe. Never do you, Jesha. Atakamu inaka vizuri mo. It's on the way. It's cooking. Yes. For you to see the full review, check me out on my Instagram page. I'm going to post the recipe. I'm going to post the picture there. Yes. Anyway. Without wasting any more time. See me pay for some review. Because I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I've been making this video the whole day, literally. So I start with some mokimo. This is where it's at. What? The onions are just coming in. They have so much flavor. The spinach is work. I think you can't even tell the difference. Utamu. Utamu, my guys. This is Mokimo too. This is Mokimo Tamu. This is Mokimo. This is Mokimo Tamu. Yes. It's so nice. I feel like it's Mokimo with intense flavor. It's just not. It's see Mokimo on a basic level. So make sure you try out this recipe. Let me salt. I take some meat. Very soft, very tender. I can feel the crunchiness of the carrots. Everything has come in together perfectly. The mokimo pamoja with the meat. On another level and if you want the detailed tutorial of how to make beef stew i'm going to link it right here you can go watch that video obviously my kachumbari and don't forget to season your kachumbari with some salt and some black pepper hmm what's it what's it this is where it is at this is where it is at at where it is wow Flavor, more flavor. Hmm. Hmm. Jesus. Never did I not try this recipe. She didn't end the life, but anyway. Let me finish this video. Then I go and demolish that meal in a few seconds. And, um, well, I'll check it. Anyway, thank you for watching till the end and um, thank you for mm, thank you for watching thank you for watching till the end karibu karibu sana for you you really ubarikiwa manze ubarikiwe and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel and you have reached this far please consider subscribing i'll really appreciate it if you have reached this far please give me a like a book hit that like button and um please don't forget to share to your friends to figure to go hashtag 1k subs by end of october 
and they can't do this alone. So share, 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 share. Tell your mother to tell your father, tell your father to tell his uncle, his uncle to tell your grandmother. Kila mtu akujua elimu. It's to subscribe to fike hashtag 1k subs by end month. Sindi wa lazima, lazima, lazima. Make, make this girl's dream come true. Anyway, too much talking and this is the end of this video. And from me, it's a wrap. <laughs>